we are kicking off yay our march declutter challenge uh we did this one last time in june um and one of the bits of feedback was that it kicking off on the first of june everyone had it in the diary kicking off the first of june which meant there was no no one had thought about preparing for it before the first so today is all about pre preparation and planning and um, getting your head in the game as it were and uh, making sure that you understand how the challenge works making sure that the emails have all worked so everyone should have got their first email um a few people that signed up within the last couple of days you will have suddenly had quite a few emails uh, because there were was sort of like a week's worth of spread out over the last week of reminders and, and things um, and then I just set them to go out as quick as possible um, but everyone should have had their planning and um, so fa planning to fa failing to plan is planning to fail if you haven't had that email and you were expecting to get the emails for the DJ Potter challenge please message me directly jessica at the lifestylecoachuk.com and um, so that i can make sure that i've got the right details in there the moment i've only had one bounce back um that i think we fixed the email address and put the wrong email address in the sign up which i think we fixed um so someone will have got theirs a bit later in the day for that one um, but everyone else that is expecting to get the emails should now have the emails so you will get an email in the morning ish <laughs> um, it's through an automated system so it's basically it's 24 hours after you got the failing to plan one um so if we had to re-sign you up or you signed up during today then you might get it a little bit later in the day unfortunately i'm not a tech wizard and i can't adjust that so but everyone else should get those early in the morning um so that they've got it for the rest of the day and then at 4 p.m. UK time in the Facebook group. A post will go out, and I'll show you an example post in a minute. A post will go out with the same advice and wording and everything that you will get in the email. So if you've missed your email or you haven't checked your email, whatever, there is the reminder there as well. Um, and a, a big photographic that will tell you what day we're on, so you can remember what day we're on. Um, and how many items were meant to be decluttering that day. So the first day we are decluttering is tomorrow. The first day we are decluttering 30 items. So let me put the graphic up on the screen share in a second. Um, voila, here we go. And um, so this is the uh, graphic for day one um, that you will all get tomorrow in the Facebook group that will pop up. So we've got day one and 30 items. Day two is 29 items. Day three is 28 items. So it reduces down each day. And there is a recommended category. Um, the pictures will all hint at the recommended category, but it will be written in the wording. <laughs> Don't worry, you don't have to guess from the picture. Um, I don't know if anyone can guess from this picture, but actually the first category is rubbish, literal rubbish, because so many of us have literal rubbish around our houses. Um, that could be like those empty bottle of shampoo in the shower or wherever you've left, abandoned it by the bath, empty bottle of shampoo, and um, those empty, taken like the packet off something um, and then finished the packet, but left the, the cardboard sleeve is in the cupboard, those kind of things, drawers that we put bits of paper in and we empty out the terms and conditions from our post and put it in a drawer and then we never look at it again. Those, all those bits of rubbish and they add up. Um, maybe it's even one of the things we get a lot is toilet rolls. My daughter hides them for arts and crafts. Um, I keep them uh, towards the end of the year, I'll start stockpiling them for Christmas, but then I might like forget where I started stockpiling them or she might find my stockpile and move it somewhere else. <laughs> So often I find empty toilet rolls when I don't need any more empty toilet rolls either. I've got enough and it's coming up to Christmas or it's March and I don't need to be collecting toilet rolls for Christmas. But that's definitely something that crops up. Um, and tissues. She likes to make little clothes for toys with tissues and then leaves them places and takes the toy. And so I'm left with just literally a pile of rubbish. Um, so they do tend to creep in um, all over the place. I will actually be following along with the task. However, I've done this a few times and I officially started calling myself a minimalist last year. So we don't have a huge amount of stuff, but we are downsizing. So um, we're gonna be moving somewhere smaller. We want to go as simple as possible, simple living life. Um, 
so I'm going to do my best but I think this is really going to be a challenge for me to actually be able to find some of the bigger numbers um it's going to be interesting I'm going to do my best see what we get on um but that's all all that we all we can do is do our best um, and try our hardest uh, let me just get rid of this graphic again so that's that's an example of the graphics we'll be looking at and um, let me just make sure I can see the Facebook chat as well, just in case we've got any questions going on in there. Hi, Bex. Oh, uh, Becca. Hi, Becca. Sorry. My eyesight's terrible. Um, let me put my Zoom up so I can see both simultaneously. All the technology. I had to do a practice run to make sure I could get this to work before the earlier one. Um, so that's the basic structure of the challenge. That's the emails that you will get in the morning, and then you will get the, the post coming up on the Facebook page. So what I would recommend is turning on notifications for the Facebook group for the length of the challenge. It's up to you, you can keep them on forever if you want. So normally in the Facebook group, we do a daily post that just says set your top three priorities. And I know a lot of people get involved with as a regular format. Um, anyone in the um, private membership and the paid membership as well it's in the whatsapp group we do the same thing in there but uh, so you might want to keep the notifications on to have that little reminder every day of what are my top three priorities what are my top three priorities but um for the challenge it's obviously particularly useful because then the posts for the challenge will pop up um let me just bring up uh, da, 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 that one I will show you how you find the notifications section so here it is um, so you sh should have got this in an email as well. So um, if you go into the Facebook group and onto the little three dots, this is on the screen. Um, it's a lot harder to do on a phone and um, I screenshot it on my computer. So this is how to do it on a computer. Uh, it will be approximately the same directions on a phone. Um, and then go to the manage notifications. If you click in there, you can turn on the notifications and adjust them. I think you can turn them on. So it's it's just the group notifications from the group that you'll get as opposed to like every comment from everyone on them. Um, but you will get that um, pop up at 4 p.m. UK time each day. Uh, and what we say is comment below with either I've done it, a picture, a video, whatever you like, as long as Facebook allows you to comment in that way, I am allowing you to comment in that way. Anyway, to show that you've done it. Um, and, and don't worry if you forget to comment for a couple of days, but you've done your done your task for that day you can still go back and comment on the pictures and then everyone that's commented on all of them throughout the challenge will be getting a prize at the end um so make sure that you've gone through i'll do about a four or five day buffer after the end just to allow people that chance to make sure they've gone in and 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 added their their picture or their comment or whatever um to the um to the posts so a picture is easiest once you've got it stacked up ready to go whatever it is you just take a picture and then you can put the picture up you don't even have to think about what you're writing um, and it's nice for that extra bit of accountability with the challenge too um, so speaking of piling things up the items do not have to leave your home on that day but they do need to leave your home by the end of the challenge so if you want to stack them up and do a couple of days at a time, um, I think it's hugely unrealistic to say that you have to they have to leave your house on the day because it's like bit of a waste of fuel some of us don't like leaving our houses like <laughs> it just doesn't doesn't always work that well um and maybe you also find something you want to sell so if you're gonna sell it set yourself that goal that it has to be sold by the end of march as well so that you're going to get it in as part of the challenge but like i said we'll we'll do that for um should we say four days should we let's let's decree it now what day is the so it last day the one item declutter is the 31st which is a friday um and good friday is the 7th so let's say the 6th the 6th of april i will go through all the posts so everything has to be cleared by the 6th of april everything that you're going to sell get it sold by the 6th of april and um, everything that you're going to donate get it donated by the 6th of april um and then you can come into your post and say that you've done them all and, and mark them all off but it's probably easier to mark them off as you go along and um, and do a couple of drop-offs throughout the challenge and um, so that's how you stay committed to it and obviously we We've got the accountability side of it too then if you are making sure that you are commenting on those pictures each day and um, putting bits up in the pictures each day what counts as an item so 
what counts as an item for me is going to be different from what counts as an item for you. If you've got loads of stuff to get gone and you really want to make the most of this challenge, don't be counting like one piece of paper as one item. If you have loads of paperwork to go through and you'd really like to do that as part of this challenge, maybe like for every centimetre stack, um, I'm going to count that as one item. Or someone said in the uh, chat earlier, uh, for, they've got like three kilograms, 30 kilograms. <laughs> so they're like for one kilograms worth of paper, they were going to count that as one item. Shoes are a pair. So if you're decluttering them because you've already lost one, then yes, you can declutter one shoe and call it one item, but otherwise two shoes are one item, two socks are one item. Again, if you are getting rid of a load of odd socks, then I would say a group of odd socks together <laughs> would be one item. But you do you. Uh, one of the biggest things that always stuck with me, my dad used to say, um, is the only person you cheat is yourself. So you set what your parameters are going to be, what you're happy with your parameters being at the start, um, and then stick to your guns of what the challenge that you set for you. I'm not going to like lay down the law about what specifically counts as one item. Um, if you're like me and you're trying to do like that final little simplification or a little like catch up, touch up type bit around the house, um, then you might have a smaller stack of paper to count as one. Um, I do need to go through my paperwork. There's going to be a couple of bits in there. So I will probably count that as one item still. Um, but some of the like the glassware I need to sort out. Um, I'm not probably going to count every glass, but each pair of glasses that are similar, I might do two glasses as an item because there's so much to so much, uh, only so much left in my house to go getting to that point where like, 465 items might be like everything nearly. That would be so cool. Um, I think this is just statistic off the top of my head. This is something like 30,000 items. The average household has 30,000 items in it or the average person within the average household has 30,000 items in it. And when we've downsized, I really want to go through and count everything we've got and see how much we've got I go through room by room and sort of tally it all up I think that'd be really interesting but then I'm a bit of a decluttering geek so maybe that's why I think that's interesting um any questions or anything do you be popping them in either the chat on the zoom or the chat on facebook whichever is easier um, i'm just making sure i'm going through my mental list to check that i've done everything we've done emails we've talked about the posts talked about what classifies as an item we have talked about turning on notifications for the group so that you can find it. Um, if you have any questions throughout the process, you can email me directly, jessica at the lifestylecoachuk.com. I will pop it in the Facebook chat quickly. Um, let's pop that in there. So that's me. Um, the emails that you get, you can reply to those and they come straight through to my email as well. Um, you can also reply to the comments, uh, to the to the post. So if you've got questions, um, you can put it as, as a comment on the post as well. If you don't want your comment to be public, um, if you, uh, you don't want your question to be public, then email me directly. Uh, DMs on Facebook, I just seems to be the land where messages go to die. So email is a little bit safer. And if you're in the paid membership, obviously you've got me on WhatsApp because that's part of the paid membership packages that we've got the, the WhatsApp group community group there. Um, and you can also message me directly on WhatsApp if you need any additional help and support. Um, the replays for this uh, will stay in the Facebook group. So both of the replays will be up um, and the recording of this one, because I've been a lot more succinct than I was earlier, we got chatting a bit earlier. Um, the recording of this one will be emailed out as well momentarily uh, so that you've got access to that if you need to refresh or recapture or if anyone hasn't, uh, wasn't able to watch this on Zoom or, or whatever, then you've got this as well. And um, you know where where, where all the information is. Um, but we're in this together. Um, so it kicks off tomorrow. So 2nd of March is our first day of physical decluttering. Um, today is all about that planning and preparation. Um, so think about what you want to get out of the challenge. Um, think about 
uh, what is going to classify as an item for you? Um, like how strict do you want to be with yourself? Think about, am I going to aim to do pictures? Um, think about how often you want to try and get the items out of your house. Are you like, no, I'm just going to, they're all going to the charity shop or they're all going to the rubbish, whatever. Um, or no, I really want to try and sell as much of it as possible. Like set those parameters for yourself today. Um, and then the other thing I've got to talk about is my four baskets of success. Um, so these are the four baskets or boxes that I use when I declutter. So you could use laundry baskets. I always keep a stash of those fabric foldable Ikea boxes um, for this kind of thing, particularly when I'm doing my own house. Uh, the big blue Ikea bags are brilliant, but it obviously does depend on what items you are decluttering to what bags they need to go into. Um, so my four boxes are recycle, repair, relocate, and rehome. Recycle, repair, relocate, and rehome. Only two of these boxes will count towards your items. And two of the boxes count towards your items, but it is worth having all four. So um, repair does what it says in the tin. It's things you need to repair. Um, my definition of clutter is anything physical, mental, or virtual that doesn't serve you, doesn't serve you in its current location, or doesn't serve you in its current state. So a dress that you really like and wear a lot becomes clutter once the zip is broken. So you need to get the zip repaired to stop it being clutter. You don't necessarily need to get rid of it. And um, same thing with like the lamp on my desk. If the bulb blows, it suddenly becomes clutter on my desk because it is no, it's not serving me in its current state. I need to change the bulb and then it won't be clutter anymore um, because I will have repaired it. Um, so yeah, anything that isn't in its current location or, or current state doesn't serve you or just doesn't serve you at all. Um, so it doesn't serve you in your current location is the relocate box. So we've got recycle, relocate. Relocate is something that is staying within your home space. So that could be within your car, it could be your office desk, like the space you live in it might not be within your home, but it's staying yours, it's staying within your space, but it needs to be somewhere else. So for example, um, daughter's gymnastic stuff, um, that is actually here because I need to photograph it to settle because she's grown out of it. But if this was just her normal things, um, I would be looking to relocate this somewhere. I'd be, that would be moving it into the relocate box wouldn't count as one of my decluttered items. I'm not decluttering it, I'm just relocating it. So those are the um, those are the two boxes that don't count. The two that do count, re recycle. I don't like to have a box called rubbish because I actively want to try and recycle as much as possible. Um, so I prefer to just call it recycling, but I will throw any rubbish recycling into that one box and then sort it afterwards. When I'm in the midst of decluttering and organizing, I just want to get the things into the right places. So I put all recycling and rubbish into the same vessel, box, basket, whatever I'm using. And then I will take it out to, for me, it's up to the garage where I sort it properly um, or into the kitchen or wherever it is that you, you split your rubbish properly. But when you're actually in the midst of decluttering an area, just put it all into one and sort it out afterwards. Um, so anything that would go into the recycle box can count as one of your items because it, you are decluttering it from your space. Um, and then rehome is anything that is leaving your home, your home space. So that would be an item being decluttered. So selling, donating, uh, charity shop, uh, gifting to a friend, ollioing, all the, any of the things um, that is meaning it's finding a new home somewhere outside of your space is my rehome items. And that would count as one of your declutter items. So again, four boxes of success. I should do an Instagram post about this tomorrow. So I've got the four boxes up. I think I did one ages ago, but it wasn't very aesthetically pleasing. So it didn't show up very much. We all know. Good old Facebook. It's got to be pretty to actually show up to anyone. So we got repair, relocate, recycle and rehome the three the four three four boxes of success when it comes to decluttering so uh you can label the actual boxes you can put a piece of paper down and pile on top of the piece of paper if you need to whatever works we don't need to go and buy fancy storage containers there'll be something in your house worst case scenario is we use a load of carrier bags and we just stick a piece of paper on the front of them so we know which one it is that we're going to do and um, it's better that we start moving forward and, and changing our our connections to to our, to our things um, and then my final tip before I sign off today is 
as you are going through this process is think about how the items ended up in your space in the first place. Um, there's that wonderful book, The Life-Changing Magic of Tidying Up. This is the life-changing bit, is where we learn to make a change in how things come into our lives. And we find the more we do it with the physical things, the more we will do it with the virtual things and with the mental side of things, the less we will start allowing onto our to-do lists and the less sort of other people's priorities we will allow in, the less external influence we will start spotting when we're being marketed to. And we will really question whether we need to buy things. So it starts saving us money. And um, I, hate having to like <laughs> I don't want to have any things in my home um so I'm like can I rent it can I borrow it um if we ever need a lawnmower we just go and borrow it from um, my partner's brother uh, he's down the road so it's really nice we get to go and see him um things like that um I wish I'd known um we've got uh Becca in the Facebook group who I know has been watching uh she runs a website called Tentshare wish I knew about tent share when we first went camping a few years ago because I have this tent that we used once a year for like three years and then over COVID haven't used and it's been such a waste so we'll be getting that listed on tent share shortly I know I keep saying that um but it, all of that comes out of being a bit more mindful as we declutter why did I let this into my space in the first place and it could have been actually it was completely valid um valid I loved it at the time. Um, I lived in a different space. I lived in a, a different life. I was really into that. It, it's it's not necessarily just because we're getting rid of it now doesn't mean it was a bad thing. Um, but we also don't want to be like moving forward and repeating old patterns that weren't serving us. Um, so enjoy the challenge, but try and be a little bit mindful as we're letting go of things like, oh, what? what part of me wanted to get this? What mistake did I make with this? Um, no, it was just, a, it was a served a chapter in my life. That's fine, I, I'll let it go. And, and there's nothing to learn from it apart from that I've moved on from that hobby. Um, or it could be that you're like, ah, yeah, I have quite a lot of these like super trendy dresses and I've realized I do not like dresses, for example. I do like dresses, but, but that could be something that you've learned clearing out when you clear out your clothes, you're like, yeah, I never wear any dresses. I always wear skirts and tops or I always wear trousers and tops. Um, I'm not going to buy dresses moving forward. There's no point. Um, but having that little that little moment of thought with each area that we declutter and um, probably less with day one, like I said, because it's uh, rubbish. We're decluttering literal rubbish in, in day one, which will be two tomorrow um, but again if you've got any questions or comments um, you can put them in the Facebook um, you can comment on that just check there's nothing coming in on the chat on this one note on the zoom and um, I will keep an eye out on the the comments on the Facebook ones as well so if you're watching them back later um, you've got my email address you can hit reply to the emails that will be coming in each day if anyone watching this was expecting to get the email sequence and um, the daily emails and hasn't had one today um, about uh, planning to fail, fail failing to plan is planning to fail. Um, if anyone hasn't had that one and was expecting to get the emails, um, then please pop me a message so I can make sure that I've got the right email address down. Like I said, we had one, but I think I've, I've fixed that one now. Um, well, we had a spelling error in an email, but everyone else should be a-okay. Um, nothing seems to have, have bounced back and what have you. Um, so check your junk mail, um, save my email address so that it will go because it comes from that email address as well. So you'll still get those ones. Those should come in in the morning, uh, UK time morning. Um, sorry, I can't adjust it for different time zones. So <laughs> it's due to get out sort of 6 45 7 a.m uk time and um, which is still be nice and early for uh, some people even if you've got a, a little bit of a time delay and then 4 p.m uk time is when the post goes up in the facebook group for everyone to to comment and share how they're getting on as well uh have an amazing evening i better get on with the rest of uh book day costume i'm nearly finished she is going as the butterfly from The Hungry Caterpillar. So I've been making butterfly wings this evening. So I've just got to go and finish off the butterfly wings. I'm actually quite pleased with them. I think we've nailed it with this one because she always gets really uncomfortable in her costumes and takes them off really quickly. And I think, I think, I think we nailed it with this one. Um, her school seems to do two book days a year. They have a school book day and then the international book day. So I'm... Um, She's been at school for two years and this is my fourth costume. Um, 
to have an amazing evening. Um, I will speak to you soon. Looking forward to tomorrow. I'm trying to think about all the different places I can look to try and find some of my bits. Um, and uh, ta ta for now. If you want to be happy, it's going to have to be a lifestyle switch. And if you want to be happy, you're going to have to do the work indeed. Quick fixes become better diets to take back your time and live your life for you. Because if you want to be happy, it's going to have to be a lifestyle switch.